So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now this video is going to be all about The Hunter Classic's newest edition, The Wood Grouse, or also known as the Kappa Kaylee. It's interesting to me that they have decided to call them Wood Grouse in The Hunter Classic rather than Kappa Kaylee, but they are the same thing. But I will be calling them Wood Grouse throughout this video just because that is what they are officially called in The Hunter Classic. Now there are some new things in the store related to the wood grouse. We have a set of four trophy shot poses, which is really nice. We also have decoys, which is really cool to see. That's a cool addition, something I wasn't necessarily expecting was decoys. And we also have some brand new callers. We have a locator call and we have a wood grouse box caller. So one call that will help you locate the birds and one that will actually call them in. Really cool to see the new equipment for these guys. And now we're going to take a look at actually what they look like in game. Now to start off with, I have to say a huge thank you to Mistress for sending me this clip. And this is actually a clip of two of the male wood grouse actually fighting which is a piece of behavior that you can see in game now unfortunately I wasn't fortunate enough to actually see this happening for myself so once again just a huge thank you to mistress who did actually get to see this and then sent me a clip of them actually fighting I think that that's really awesome to see that they have their own unique behavior and that you can actually see them fighting in game like that really really awesome now we're going to take a look at actually hunting some of these guys and I had an absolute blast hunting these birds. They are really, really good fun to hunt. They come into the call very, very quickly. They're incredibly vocal, so actually tracking them down isn't too hard. And um, they're not very easily spooked. They will come in really quite close and it takes them quite a while to actually spook off unless they're like right on top of you. They're not very easy to spook. Now this one isn't that big, only a 5.9 kg one, scoring at 5892.0617, so only a small one. For a high scoring one, we're looking for 7100 plus, so over 7 kg. I think the max is 7200 for score, but the top of the leaderboard is like 7190 something. But in this video, we are just going to be taking a look at what these birds are like to hunt. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get any that were really big, but I had a really good time actually hunting them. And that does seem to be the general consensus, is that people are really happy with these as an addition to the game. And a lot of people were really happy to see that these aren't just reskinned turkeys. They have their own unique behaviours, of course they have their own unique calls, which you're going to hear throughout this video. The audio for these is so spot on in classic it is absolutely fantastic they have done such a good job with giving them their own behavior their own sounds everything it is just so incredibly well done and in my opinion i think these are a fantastic addition to the game and you can see that using the decoys and the callers just to bring that one in this is just is so easy to hunt them you can easily go out find you know find a call find tracks put the decoys out sit there with the wood bo wood box caller and just call them in and honestly it's really enjoyable now the other thing that's really cool about these guys is they are on three different maps they are on Hirschfelden, they are on Hemeldahl and they are on Val de Bois so there is actually a nice little diversity of maps to actually be able to hunt these on which is really cool as well and I love the animations that you will have just seen there while that bird was actually calling and coming into the call they stick their heads up in the air they have just done it so perfectly to make these as realistic as possible I think they have just done such a fantastic job now i really wasn't expecting these to be an addition to classic but honestly i think these are such a perfect fit to be added and honestly these are one of my favorite birds in the entire world i absolutely love capicale they are fantastic or as they're called in classic they are called wood grouse which is one of their other names they're just such a fantastic species and getting to see them in classic and see how fantastically they've been, you know, been done with their models and just everything. I think it's really, really awesome. Now, something else that's really cool, as I mentioned earlier, these guys do come into a call very quickly. If you compare them to something like turkeys, these guys come in really fast. And that's really nice because it means that you don't have to sit around and wait absolutely ages for one to come into the call. 
Now, something else that I noticed is you will get into little groups of them sometimes, like I did here. I ended up having three males call from different directions, so I could just sit with the bow and take them out one by one. And, of course, as you will have seen earlier, if you are lucky enough to have two coming in at the same time, then you sometimes will get that fighting behaviour. And that's really awesome to see. That's something that a lot of hunting games miss out on, is actual interactions between individual animals, and it's something that is so fantastic to see in the hunter classic you see it with other species like the bighorn and the ibex sometimes you can see those fighting and that's always really cool to see and i think the fact that they've actually added that that sort of animation set for the capicale where they have their own unique fighting interaction is fantastic these birds are known for being feisty they are known for being vocal feisty little birds and they're just awesome and that's that's what gives them so much character and that's why they're one of my favourite birds in the entire world is just their attitude and their whole demeanour. They're such cool creatures. And honestly, when I saw that they'd been added to Classic and they shared the little gif of two males fighting, I was just so, so excited. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to go and hunt these guys straight away, but as soon as I did, I just had so much fun, like I said. They're really easy to actually hunt, which... You know, some people might say they wish they were more challenging, and I can understand that. I do wish they were a little bit easier to spook, but then again, they are known for not being the, you know, the most spooky birds out there. They will actually be quite confident. So I can see why they're not perhaps the easiest to spook and why they are perhaps easier to hunt, especially with coming into the calls quite aggressively. That's quite, you know, from what I've seen, that seems to be quite the thing in real life. And yeah, I don't know. I think they've just been done super, super well. And if you've been out and hunted them, I'd love to hear what you think of the Capicale or the Wood Grouse. I'm going to keep calling them Capicale because that's what that's what I know them as. And that's what, you know, in Call of the Wild they're called. And yeah, that's just what I end up calling them. But of course, in this game, they are called the Wood Grouse. And I, like I said, I think it's still an interesting choice that they decided to go for that name rather than the Capicale. But I just think these guys are fantastic and I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. I think they did such a fantastic job with these and you can hunt them with quite a, a quite a decent range of weapons as well, which is pretty nice. And they're just a good addition, I think, to if you're going on a hunt, maybe for something else and you get a call from one of these. I think it's nice because they do come in so quickly that you can just sit down quickly, call one in, take it out with the bow and carry on with your hunt. And that's always a nice addition, I feel. Something that doesn't take a huge amount of time to actually call in. Fills out the maps a little bit more on the three maps that they are actually on. And um, yeah, I think that that's a pretty good choice. We're seeing some really nice, interesting animals being added for, you know, sort of more filler to the reserves. And a lot of people have said that they do see these as more of a filler species. And I think that that's absolutely, you know, fine to have a filler species. But to have one that is so, so charismatic and so fantastic and it's to have the detail that has actually gone into adding these as a species, like I said, with their own behaviour, their, their own calls, their own decoys, everything, I think it's absolutely awesome. But before I continue rambling anymore, that is going to be it for this video. So a huge thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And like I said, if you have actually been out and hunted these guys, do let me know what you think about them down in the comments. Are they something that you're going to be focusing on hunting? Because I think that as much as these could be seen as a filler species, you could just easily go out on just a hunt for these and have such a fantastic time because of them being the way that they are. I honestly think that they are pretty darn perfect with how they've been done. I really don't think that they need to change anything. Unfortunately, I don't think they have any rares. That was another reason I waited to make this video. Doesn't seem like they actually have any rares, which is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe in future we'll see something being added in terms of rares. It would be cool to see that. We do have that in the Hunter Call of the Wild, so maybe they might change that. But even if they don't add rares, I think trying to get trophies of these birds will be a pretty cool thing to do. So yeah, I'm super happy with them. Really, really excited to hunt them in the future. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.